hello everyone please let me know if you are hearing my voice otherwise before I keep on with my presentation if you uh, if you or if you hear my voice please just say yes okay mr andrew if you hear my voice please say yes before i start my presentation okay now good evening everyone and uh, today uh for some of us that have been asking me questions regarding the preset uh, i'm going to talk about presets today and uh, please i want you to listen very well because uh it's a very tricky aspect of the uh webinar because uh, as we know that the main software which is agent pro comes with different settings so i'm going to explain how we how i normally generate my preset and in the first place what is preset preset is just um uh, it's just uh uh, sorry, is everybody seeing my screen? Do you see my screen? It's a whiteboard screen. If you see my screen, just say yes. So that I know everything is okay before we continue our presentation. You have to see my screen. If you don't see my screen, then uh, okay. All right. I can see the reason why you are not seeing my screen. Did you see my screen now? Okay. Now, since my screen, uh, okay. Now, it's, a, it's just a whiteboard screen for now. Uh, I'm just going to, because I'm going to write some things on the board, and I'm, uh, and I'm still going back to the chat. Presently, what we have the preset we have now can trade um, our preset we have now can trade what we call pounds gpp usd actually it, we can trade anything and in london markets like we know that we normally trade london markets we can trade anything any peers during London market. But presently, the preset we are using can only trade GBP USD, Euro USD, and um, USD Japanese Yen. Um, these are the three that I recommend uh, recommended using the current preset we have. So I want to go, I will, I will show you how you can generate your own preset to trade other things. Because we know in London market, we can trade more than this too. For example, let's check what can we trade during London market. If we come to Forex, we can trade pounds USD, Euro USD, because we know that during London market we are dealing with any pairs that has pounds and euro. We can trade. Um, let's keep on going down. Euro, Euro, Euro GPP, Euro Chef, Euro JPY, Euro Card, Euro Australian Dollar, Euro, Euro New Zealand, pounds Chef, pounds JP uh, Japanese Yen, pounds Card, pounds Australian Dollar pounds new zealand these are the things we can trade anything any any pair that has pounds and euro but all these pairs they are not moving the same way so because they are not moving the same way we need to sit down and generate and look for a pattern of their movement to generate our preset before we continue let me first of all ask what is preset what is preset? You know, preset is uh, 
is just uh, a process of, you know, interpreting our understanding, our normal way of thinking. It's like you, 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 you program your brain, you program your thinking, and you insert it inside the main application, main software. Because that is what the preset is. For example, now I'm going to show us some things inside that software. The software alone cannot do anything until we supply the software a pattern that we think it will be okay for us to trade a particular piece. So that is what we understand by the word preset. Now, not to waste time, I will only mention, I will only show us how to generate preset and after that I'm going to test, I'm going to show us how to test your preset before you'll be convinced that this preset is okay for you. It, preset takes time. It, it takes experience of the trader that has been trading for a very long time to be able to generate a successful preset. But once I give you the, the procedure, I think you should be able to do that. So now let's quickly check the procedure. Now I'm going to use, uh, uh, let me use pounds USD or let's try to use uh, Japanese yen, pounds Japanese yen. Yes, let's use pounds Japanese yen so that it will be different from what you have been using. But unfortunately, I'm going to have a challenge now because the market is closed. My pounds Japanese yen chart might not load. Yes, it might not load because I supposed I think I supposed to do this training during the week, but not nevertheless I'm going to use pounds USD because already I have data on that. Let me see. I have one hour data. I have four hours data. I have daily data on that. So we can do preset by using one hour chart. Let me quickly go to property. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm going to use property because I want to use what we call a period separator. You see, this one give me the movement per day. From this separator to this separator is full day trade and this is another full day trade. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just to explain to Ross, um, let me see if I can have up to five days. One, two, three, for four days, that's four days. Uh, let me see, five days, we'll start from here. This is one, two, three, four, five. But let me tell you the real fact. Five days is not enough to generate a preset. If you want to really generate a preset that will be above 80% accurate, you have to evaluate the, the market movement for a full one year. I won't lie to us. Just one year. And this is the way you can do it. Is either you use it one hour or you use daily. If I use daily now, I'm, I'm going to, that means if I use daily chart, I, that means a candle, just a candle here is one day. A candle on my chart is one day. For example, from here, from this candle to this candle to this last candle here, where I put my mouse is how many days? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen days. Okay. Now we can use this. We can use this to, to, to calculate our volatility. But I normally like using one hour for more accuracy. So what how do I do? this is that I look at when the market open you can see that our market open midnight uh, let me see the five days again one two three four five okay let, let me start from here market open here and it closes uh, at this place but we want to look at the high and the low of the day that is the movement of the day the high and the low of the day so the this is the way the market open so we need market open here which is 1.3146 
And if we look at here, we look at the low here. The low of this candle is 1.3008. So if we want to do a real thing, let me have a pen to just start showing you. Uh, the low, we need high and low for the day. So if we get high and low for the day, we're going to use the high and low for the day to do whatever thing we want to do. Let me quickly use daily to make everything simpler for myself. So if we look at here, our I here is 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 5, And our low here, I think this one is more lower, which is uh, 1.22, 50. So now, what we are we going to do to get? Oh uh, no, sorry, I can't do it because it's not more one hour. I can't come and check here. I must check each candle this time around. Okay, let's check each candle from here. I'm going to write it down here. You can you too you can pick a pen to start writing something down at your end for clarity. This is the first candle of the day. So what is the I? I is 1.2. I is 1.2. And the low is, the low for the day is, when you put your mouse resist on that candle, it's going to show us. The low is 1.2477. That's for the first candle. The second candle, the I is 1.26, 1 1.2614, and the low is 1.2545. Please, before we continue, are you getting what I'm, I'm showing you? Do you get how I'm getting I and low? If you do, please just say yes before I move on, uh, before I move far. Okay, blessing you say yes. Is Mr. Andrew still there? Did you get how I'm getting my eye and low? Okay, good. So when we go to the third day, our eye on the third day is 1.2632, and our low is 1.2499. Then we go to the fourth day which is this one, our I is 1.2730, our low is 1.2582. Then we go to the fifth day, our I is 1.2735, and our low is 1.2626. So, we keep on doing that until we finish everything. So I'm sorry I won't be able to finish everything because we have limited time. But you have no how I'm picking I, 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 I and low, I, I, low. I use daily chart. I use daily charts. You can use one hour chart, like I said. Let's quickly use one hour, that one hour chart. Now from here to here, we want to know if I want to use daily chart to compare. Let's look at the last day, which is on Friday. And this is the lowest here. Good. So now, let's look. When market open here, market comes down here. And, mark, and this is the lowest for the day. And this is the highest for the day. So if we look at this from the lowest to the highest, sorry, from the lowest to the highest, how many pips? We have 80, 95 pips. You see, the one in the middle is the number of the pips, 95 pips, or we do, we subtract 1.30446, we subtract it from 1.3141. Let's quickly do that calculator
so which is one point one point three one four one minus one point three zero four six and this is going to give us 95 you can see i show you 95 now this 95 we are going to divide it by 2 so it's going to give us if you divide 95 by 2 don't mind this it's going to give us 47 point um, 35 that is the average movement for that day so 47.3 uh, 47.5 sorry but you remember this is what we are going to slot this is what we this is how we are getting what we slotted in the edging distance i'm still going to put the software to explain to you but this is how we get our edging distance but let me quickly go to let me quickly go to come here and we i will write what uh, we have been we have gotten before for example, we got uh, the first one is um, we said we got one point one point two five. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, let me erase this. We got one point two five seven four. We got let me start from 1.2574. If you are writing it, you will see what I'm saying. And the lowest is 1.24, And if we deduct this, what will it give us? If we deduct this, 1.25. Let's cancel this, which is 1.2574 minus 1.2477. And it's giving us, you see, it gave us almost the same thing, 97 pips for that movement. Now, if you can take your time and do this from... For as many years as possible, you take your time because you want to trade. So you will know that okay, this is the kind of movement that pounds USD made every day. At least it's going to make 97 pips movement every day. Then you divide that 97 97 pips by two. When you divide it by two, it's going to give you average movement. That means there's no way. Pounds will not move 47 point, I mean, yes, 40, 48.5 pips a day. So that will be what we are going to use our, as our edging distance. That's what we use as our edging distance inside the software when you are doing your preset. Now let's come to uh, another uh, scenario, which is, so sorry because it's not too comfortable the way I'm using this thing tonight. So let me erase all this. Let me erase all this so that we I'll write new things for us. Let me erase all this. Now we have now known that with little explanation I make, we know that pounds USD half minimum of 97 I'm sorry 97 pips movement per day then we divide this 97 pips by 2 it's going to give us uh 48.5 pips but if you look at what i put there i put 35 pips so let me quickly try and see if there's a way i can load uh, I don't think I have, uh, oh my God, I made a mistake here. I don't think I have uh, any EA that can run, that can run on this, on these accounts. Yeah. 
Oh Jesus. Um okay. Let me try something. I'm sorry guys. Let me quickly try something. Edging Pro. Does it matter which one I use? But let me quickly put anything there. Uh, my demo capital. Okay, let me try this. Maybe I'll be lucky. Okay, good. Let me try and see if I have a preset to load. Yeah, this preset to load here. Yeah? Now you can see we put 35 here. So this is the reason. These are the way of I uh, the way I got my 35. Actually, we know that it's 27. I mean, 48.5. But I don't want to exhaust all those movements. So I put 35. So that is how I put 35. It would be it would be easy for you to to grab everything now because you are just a beginner. But I just need to tell you the secret of of how we are getting all these settings. So we got 35. Another thing that is very important is uh, profit. How did I get profit? $1.50. Why did we use $1.50? Because remember we used 35 as our edging distance. So we must do everything possible that we don't put our profit margin outside this range. Now, for example, let's say, for example, let's say we, we, we put 0 0.01, which is our lot size. 0 0.01 means 10 cents per pip. Each pip we trade is 10 cents. 10 cents per pip. That's the meaning of 0 0.01. Now, look at it. If you now move 35 pips, 35 pips times 0.10. This is going to give us $3.50. That means our take profit cannot exceed cannot exceed $3.50. I think we are getting it. Now, now that we know that, that means we can put 3.50 here. We can put 3.50 here. But the, the, we, we, we shouldn't make that mistake because that means we, we are going to make it so difficult for the software to quickly make a profit and get out of the market. If we are waiting for us to take all the profit, so we need a small profit from this distance and the software goes into the market afresh. It's easy to make profit of 50 cents in the market than one dollar it's easy to make one dollar fifty cent profit in the market than two dollar profit this is just pure arithmetics we are using here we are not using indicator we are not using any forecasting we are using we want we want to trade when market is volatile and we have set a parameters which is our 35 our take profit so now, for example, if you have, um, um, let, me, let me see what to do here. Let me manage this, uh, this screen. For example, if our edging distance is 45 pips, that means we can say, okay, if it is 45 pips, our take profit, our profit should be $2. Because imagine 45 pips multiplied by 0 0.01, our lot size. That means the maximum profit we can take there is $4.50, right? So now, we don't want to wait in the market to take $4.50. we rather take small and software re-enter the market again. That's why you see that most of the day, all the market will open close when the market closes for the day. So now, if you said you want $2, that means, that means you are going to wait for 20 pips. And you know, 20 pips is 20 times 10 cents. And we get our $2. So, and 20 pips in the market is not too 
much, but it's a lot for you to, to pick. This one is, if you, if you are picking $1.50, that means you are waiting for 15 pips in the market, which is easier to quickly pick. So that is why, because some of us that are, some of us that are asking questions that, why are we using $1.50? Why can't we use $5? You can't have aging distance of 25 and you use $5. If you use $5, that means you have existed, you, have ex you, have, you, are not, you are not taking your profit inside these channels. Because if you want to take $5, you need 50 pips. 50 pips edging distance. And remember, this pair, according to our, our, our calculation, this pair is, is good at 35 pips. Because we remember that pounds USD move minimum of, I mean, maximum of 90 seven pips and we divide it by two which is 48 point i mean 48.5 pips and we don't want to exit we don't want to take the whole thing that's why we move a bit down to have 35 pips please is this uh, explanation is it clear if it's not clear please let me know i can still go back and explain if it is clear please tell can you notice can you Tell me yes, please. If it is clear, can you tell me yes? Please. Hello. If it is clear, can somebody tell me yes? Okay, Andrew, yes. Okay. Uh, somebody asked me about the spread. That's a very good question. That's a very quick, good question I've been expecting. Good. Let me quickly erase uh, this our 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 chalkboard. Let me quickly erase our chalkboard. Mm. Let me quickly erase our chalkboard. Yes. Now, if we notice that euro. USD, USD, Japanese yen, euro is, it depends on the broker, but sometimes euro spread is between 0 0.5 to 2. When it is 2, that is when we have volatile news. But mostly, euro is always at this level. Pass USD as well, this, this spread is always between 0 0.5 to 2. But pounds USD, GPP USD, spread is around uh, 1 pips to 5 pips. 5 pips when the market is volatile. When there's a news, like a non-farm payroll news, by NFP, it will, it will reach up to this. You see now, from this 35, from this edging, edging distance of 30, 35 pips, we have already considered the spread. For example, if you use these settings for euro, Euro USD. Uh, that means once the price market moves 30, let's say there's a news, let's say there's a news which the spread is around 2, that means when the market moves 33 pips, another edging, another lot size will come in, will enter the market because 33 plus 2 spread is going to give us 35 pips. Did I answer your question? Blessing. So when you are doing your settings, when you are doing your, uh, uh, yes, when you are doing, when we are doing our preset, you have to consider spread. So that means if you want 35, if you want your edging distance to be 35 pips, that means when you are, when you want to input it inside the, inside the software, 
you must put 35 plus 2 for euro, so they become 37. But you, you don't need to do that because already we have given you uh, what I gave you here. The preset I gave you is the best that I've tested for nine years. And now, after you have, we have done all this, we, are, we, we have set up our preset, we have done everything, you have to test your preset. Is it working fine? Is it working fine? You need to test it. Because how do you test if your preset is working fine? Because you don't need to rush to quickly use it. For example, I'm going to test this on pounds USD. I'm going to test this one now on pounds USD and every one of us will see how to test it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to strategy tester. This is a strategy tester and I want to use uh we have i have so many of these i don't know which one is going to work now i have so many of uh testing i've done on this um okay let me just pick uh experts i pick the same expert pounds euro pounds usd i want to test just for uh this year january 2020 January 2020, okay, let me say 2019, yeah, uh, January 1st, uh -huh. no, let me, let me pick December, yeah, December 2019, okay, January, okay, let me pick January 2020, till, What is 2020? Let's see this. Let me say 2020. Uh, we are on uh, August. August what? Today is August 16. Let me put 15 here. Now I want to I want to test run. I want to test run our setting. So we want to use daily period. Then we come to expert property. This is the same thing we have been doing. So there's nothing different. We just want to. Um, uh, test our uh, minor, minor, uh, minor confirmation should be false. Closing trade on one open, we set it true. Remember, it should be true. Yeah, target should be true. Yeah, as well. So, target money, remember, we put 1.5. So what again? Yeah, we don't want manual confirmation this time around. Um, what is this? Manual confirmation is false. This is true. This is true. Okay. Now we uh, we start trading. Our trading starts seven o'clock, and we close it ten o'clock every day. Remember that. Then uh, we have edging distance. Our edging distance is thirty-five. Because we just want to test uh, everything, then uh, what else do we want to do? Optimizing balance minimum, okay. Input, okay. Uh, I think we should have a place. We should, okay. No problem. This is a basic things we are doing here. Then what do we do next? Let me check. What is then you say okay now good this is what i'm looking for we can load we can load our preset let's come to uh mkl these are presets remember we have presets so you can we can load our preset like normal thing we can load it back but this one is seven o'clock this one is um 10 a.m remember london market that's what we normally trade seven o'clock uh 10 a.m but in this situation we are going to use only buy we are going to, we are not going to use sell because uh the testing would only test this side alone it will test this side so banner confirmation true checking balance true um target profit true which is 0 0.05 then we close it then we have input everything inside here so when we click start 
button. Oh, sorry. Uh, what am I doing here? I, I've, I've made a mistake because you can see that we are testing Euro JPP and we need to test pounds, great uh, pounds USD. So let me re reset my. Let me reset what I'm testing. This pounds USD. We must be very sure that we get the right one. This is pounds USD January 2022 of, to, uh, to what do we call it to August 15. Yes, yeah, supposed to be August 15 as well. August 15 as well. Then let's go back to uh, what we have loaded, which is this. Okay, let's say okay. Now let's click start to test run. Let's see maybe it's going to give us. Please, can you check your manual confirmation? Is it not supposed to be false? The manual confirmation is supposed to be false. Okay, let's let's stop it again. Let's check it. Manual confirmation. What is it here? It's, no, our manual confirmation is supposed to be false. Yeah, thank you. Because we don't want to be stopping and be entering manually. We want the software to enter. So let's start again. You will see how we are going to test our preset. We are going to test our research on that peer. It's collecting data. You see, collecting five minutes. It's collecting 15 minutes. Live data that we have traded previously. And that is what we used to uh, see if our preset is going to, you see, it has started trading with our preset now. And you can check the results somewhere here. Let me see. Okay. It's still not bringing it out. Let's keep on checking here. So you will see, this is how you test your preset. It's a little bit job, but if you can try to, you, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not something that you can just jump into, but if you can try to start looking at this, checking it out, you are going to get everything by yourself. You are going to understand why we are we trading the way we are trading. And you have control over what you are doing in the market. So let me try to see maybe... He, Okay, we have not getting any trade. Uh, okay, let it finish. We shall see what it's trying to do. So actually, what I normally do with preset is that I generate it and I sell it because it take my time, it consume my energy. But for the for the purpose of you guys using my software, there's some. I'm going to release some presets for other currency during London time, which I'm going to give to every one of us free. But there will be a time where you need to buy some of the presets if you have interest in trading, especially those presets for indices. I know none of us has capital to trade indices for now. But indices is more profitable and indices is more uh, re the high risk. You can see this is outcome of our results. You can see this is what the preset has traded for us. Uh, it's still on February. Uh, no, is it February? No. I, I don't even understand. Is it month before day or day before month? I think it's okay. I think this is February 2020 now. And you can see that as at February 2020, you see how it's trading. And it has given us $64 profit on that $10,000 we put there to simulate the, to simulate, uh, to simulate uh, the preset we generated for pounds, U pounds USD. And it's telling us the software I've traded 105 times so so this is how you generate the preset and this is how you test your preset if it's really working 
you can get your your you can get your chart here and it's telling us how your chart is growing the more your chart grows the more your profit and you still get more results i think yeah more trade has been executed you see so uh i think uh it's a little bit clear to us please if it's a little bit clear you can just tell me yes it's not easy you are just a baby in the industry and uh, you need to understand the software properly that's why i normally tell you guys don't rush you don't need to rush you don't need to rush you just need to acquire the knowledge so did you understand a bit what we are discussing here please if you if you do just say yes okay blessing thank you all right mr andrew so this is how i generated the in the i mean the um, preset and this is how I am testing my preset if it's okay because when you generate your preset you need to test it you need to test that preset if it's okay before you put it on a live money so this is how you test it let's see if we can still wait a bit um, we are still in we are still in uh, February because you can see this is February 10 this is around 10, 18 past 10 a.m. So uh, all this trade that is trading now after past 10, you are not, we are already out of the market. So when it is another day, 7 o'clock, it will go to end. So you can, you can say that we can simulate what we are doing. It's not that something that is hidden. This is just... Uh, the algorithm for the software is just pure mathematics. So it's, there's no big deal in it. But your preset is a live wire that instructs the software what to do. So if you are trading uh, London market, you are trading Asia market, you are trading uh, Singapore market, you have to understand how those peers you want to trade during that region how are they behaving? What is their movement for you to calculate the edging distance and make sure that if your edging distance is 20 pips, don't go and look for profit of $2. Because when you look for profit of $2, you are out of the range of 20 pips, which is your margin. So this is how everything works. And I think we can call it a day here yeah? or do you want us to to look at the results more or we should call it a day yes if your trade doesn't close for so many days that means you are going to be acquired more swap what is swap um what do we call it is, is this a swap uh yes you call it swipe, uh, uh, over, overnight swipe. And with that, it's going to be difficult for the software to quickly pick your profit. So I am going to talk about that, the solution you can do to that in the, in my, in my, I'm going to notice it now. I'm going to jot it down. There's a solution you can do if you're, if, for example, if you open a trade on Monday, and you are you notice that this trade will not close and is going towards um, New York closing for the day. You can adjust your profit from one point five dollar. You can take it to ten cents just to make sure that it closes. You don't have overnight swipe, overnight swap. Otherwise, if you keep it to the next day, the next day. You already acquire you have already accumulated swap overnight so broker normally charge any trade that sleep over so what you do is just um reduce your profit from 1.5 dollar to like 
10 cent, 5 cent, so that it can quickly close and readjust. Uh, when, if you have a trade that is running since Tuesday, that means you are trading a pair that is too slow. Please, can you measure the, the pairs you are trading for me? Can you please measure the, tra the pairs you are trading? I think this is Mr. Andrew. I don't think you can you can trade pounds USD for for so long because that's what I'm trading to. I can print my statement for you, my live account statement that I'm I'm using to explain to other guys. There's no way something but have get went wrong. There's no way. There's no way pounds USD will trade for from Tuesday to Wednesday. If you did or if you don't change any of the parameter I gave you there's no way sir and you are not changing not that you change the trading time because what the preset i gave you and the time I'm, I'm i asked you to trade is what i've confirmed that i used to trade for almost 11 years so you there's no way you can get four days full without a closing trade on pounds usd I don't understand what is, is happening there. Maybe after this webinar, I will need to attend to you privately to check what you do wrong. My trade, the maximum of my trade open is to close the next day. That's the maximum. The next day, I cannot even run pounds USD for three days. It's not possible. I've not observed that. Okay, I will even log into your system after the webinar so that I can check what we are talking about. So we can see that this thing will take uh, our time. So I'm trying, let us see what you can do. We can, you can click there to skip. skip. You can say you should skip. Skip to our last month. So you can see it's skipping and you can see what the result we are getting so it's going to skip it's going to make it fast because i click skip to and you can see it's it's very fast now and this is exactly what we have traded you can see the profit margin you can see what we have traded from maybe you have been trading from january till now this is what you support because we are trading the same live data you have traded for so for those months you can see what is happening that's how when you get a good preset when you can do a good pre preset this is what is going to happen this one, now it has stopped because we are now up, we, the, 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 the software have the, pre, the software have traded the preset for eight months and this is what it gave us as profit this is what it has gave us as profit so if you look at it here we go to graph this is the graph and if you go to report it's going to give us the report that total net profit is this gross loss is this maximum drawdown is 2.9 you can see what we are talking about this maximum drawdown means this is for eight months out of your ten thousand cent or ten thousand dollars the software risk $218 of your capital. That's the meaning. And this is exactly what I normally tell, what I can tell you guys. If you invested 200, actually you have $10,000 in your account, right? But you invested 218, that's your maximum. Let me see, where is our maximum drawdown? Yes, 218 is your maximum drawdown. That means out of your 10,000, this is what you risk. You risk 218 to get Four hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Most times, we normally think that it's ten dollars, ten thousand dollars. We are going to use to make our judgment. No, ten thousand dollars is seated in your account, but you risk only two hundred and eighteen. That is how intelligent this 
preset is the preset we set is to trade our capital so i think uh, i'll call it a day here if you have any question you can quickly ask me and i'm ready to answer the question but otherwise i'll call it a day here you can see everything i've said if you want to do a recap of what you have said i'll upload this video you can go there and check and check and check so that you can so yes yes blessing where after you have get your preset you've get your everything right you have to upload it you save it as a preset then you upload it to back test it and if you back test it and you see that it's not working fine please don't put that preset on your capital that means it's very dangerous so i think i answer your question if i do just say yes so i know i've answered your question good uh mr andrew do you have any question before we call it a day Mr. Andrew, do you have... Okay. So, let's call it a day here. And until we meet within the week, if you have any questions within the week, please drop it in the group so that we can benefit all of us. Uh, thank you very much and good night. Mr. Andrew, please, after the lecture, after the webinar, you have to... Please, I'm not sure if I have your email address. If you have my email address... Okay, that is not a problem. We're going to sort it out. After the webinar, I'm going to attend to you. So, good night, everybody, and God bless. Bye-bye.